Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll integrate Java DSL and Spring. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. So go to the Apache Camel section. We are going to stand on Apache Camel examples. Previously we had uh, written a program file transfer using Java DSL Apache Camel. So here we had configured an Apache Camel route to transfer file from one folder to another. This was done without using Spring. In this tutorial, we'll create a similar uh, simple route builder, but this it will be called by you uh, through Spring. So this is the program that we are going to implement in this tutorial: Apache Camel Java DSL plus Spring integration. The advantage of using Spring will be evident as we go on developing this program further in other tutorials, like writing the redelivery re policy, transaction management, etc. So let's begin with the implementation part. We are going to use the camel hyphen spring jar file maven dependency. The route that we are going to write will be similar. Only we are going to call a processor while transferring the file from input folder to the output folder. And this route we are going to call through application context spring context file. And the spring context file we will be calling it through the main method. So let's begin with the implementation. Go to Eclipse and create a Maven project. Next, we'll add the dependencies, even dependencies. Copy the dependencies part. Let's run this project now. Next, let us create the required classes. So first we'll create the processor. Next, we'll create the simple route builder in which we have configured our route. So, here we have configured our route where it will copy the file from C input folder to C output folder also by during this transfer the uh, new uh, processor will be called in processor we are doing nothing just printing a sys out hello next we will create the application context file in the application context file we are going to call this route that we have written for this we will first create a bean of the simple route builder class and that bean will then be called by using the route builder ref so this route will automatically get uh, loaded whenever this application uh, context gets started so go to source main resources and we have created an application context dot xml Finally, we'll write the main class to load the application context and uh, we'll start this application context.
we have named this as application context so now let's run this program so what this program will do is it will load the application context.xml which will uh, load the configured route so it will copy the files from the input folder in the input folder currently we have client db so it will copy this client db to the output folder here so let's run this so the processor has been called only a single time because the route since there is only one file in the input folder so the processor gets called once and it prints hello if we'll go in the output folder client db has been copied so our program is working correctly you can download the source code for this example from here thank you